what is going on you guys welcome back to the reaction video here on the channel so today we got darman it's been a while since i reacted to a darman vid so anyways guys today we got broke girl lives like a millionaire she instantly regrets it i don't know how someone broke could live like a millionaire i don't know but enough talking let's get right into it guys we're gonna find out Bro, everyone has to start off from somewhere, bro. We live in a small Even like the rich people, the famous people nowadays, everyone starts off small. Exactly. Which is it's, why it's not like they start I off rich. Like, bro. Do not live like this anymore. Good afternoon. May I get you two started with something to drink? Uh, a champagne, perhaps. And by the way, guys, I'm freaking drinking something oh, called, um... Uh, would you like Moet? Verve? I don't know. Rose. Kirkland? Fruit Punch? Flavored with other natural flavors, uh, made with right cane this sugar. I don't know what the heck is this. A a off brand of Gatorade, the red fruit punch Gatorade. But I mean, I guess it's all right. We have house champagne that's four dollars a glass. What happened? This cost me seven dollars anyways. Clear inception. Okay, so she's cheap. Forever twenty one. I mean there's oh, nothing wrong with being cheap. I'm cheap too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you ordered another one. <laughs> Who cares? It's only one fifty. Oh my gosh, you're so right. <laughs> one fifty. I wish I had money like that. Mm, for what? I'm I am not paying one fifty for a drink, bro. That's the gonna be gone morning. in calls for the perfect pairing. Oh. New Jimmy Dean maple griddle cakes. Sweet pancake outside. Savory sausage inside. Ready in minutes. By the way, guys, fun fact: I have tried one of the um, sausage, egg, and cheese from that same brand. That's like a quick. You know, it's good, guys. It's good. It's good. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I have bought from that place at the market because I've seen it like pop up so many times and like. More money. Commercial, so I went ahead and tried it out for myself, and it was well, pretty good. You know, something bus. light, something good for the morning. You just put it in the microwave, and it's good. But, anyways, back to the video. Well, there's nothing wrong with being cheap, huh? but, you, but you don't have to be ashamed about it. Shame. Like, it's up to you. Like, if you want to spend your own it's money, go ahead. Assistant. If you want to be cheap and save, then go ahead. It's your money, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with it just because you see other people spending. Focus on yourself, not on what other people do or what they this have. Thank you. What so, yeah, that goes for everyone out there, bro. There's nothing wrong with that. No, I'm not flying business. What do I look like? A peasant? This is a nightmare. I'm going to New York to give a speech. Okay. And only business is available. Hands since 2019. Damn. Right, sorry. Why? If you want to work for me, you have to be available 24 7. Oh, go no. I go, do whatever I ask on however little notice. Oh, and no complaining. Ever. Are you yeah, now nah, you need to drop out, bro. Come on. Oh, and I should add this position pays $100,000 a year. I'm available to start today. Miss Richfield, that is such a rich last name. Ew! Take your dirty shoes off the sofa, Shelby. They're not dirty. I cleaned them today. I don't care. That couch is restoration hardware. It costs twenty five thousand dollars, and I'm not gonna. Twenty five for a couch. You know more about your designer furniture than you do me. No, I have an appreciation. Oh boy. What it should do, woman? You probably did something, or you're probably crazy, oh, or over hi. dramatic. Hey, your mom's gonna hate this. Shelby, you know, it's kind of nice to see how long this will last. Fact. She's had seven assistants in 
in four months. That's not true. Ray was... Stop, stop. It, it's definitely true. By the way, how she was acting already, how when she was explaining, saying something about like, oh, I need you 24-7. Yep. I could tell she's gonna be a bossy one, and especially complaining, freaking paying 20k for a couch. If she's acting like this towards her own daughter, now imagine towards someone she's hiring. Come on, bro. Not an 100k for an ear? Not friend. worth it. Which bag would you like to take to New York with you? I'm Damn. Sure with Jimmy Smith. I can't go with the YSL or the Chanel unless you show me up. Oh my. I'll just go with one of my Birkins. <sighs> Bro, people make it so complicated. Oh. Also, Gregory came down with the flu. He uh, is no longer able to go with you. What? Who's gonna carry my bags? Her. Her. Um, I think I need to sneeze. Hold up. Okay. Sunday. You said you'd be back Saturday for my first dance practice. Oh my it's god. Practice, Too many drama. You act like it's the Olympics. When you do something impressive, then I'll be there. What? <coughs> I have to my bad, guys. There, I was, I was waiting for the sneeze already, bro. Bro, it's because you're being too bossy, bro. You're being way too over dramatic. You're. I probably wouldn't even last a minute in there, bro. Okay, so by the title, um, she instantly regrets it. I could see where this is going already. She's gonna like it, and she rather be working a sixteen sixteen hour hourly job when they pay you 16 an hour I know it seems fun at first it seems cool but trust me towards the end give it at least a week or a month yeah everything's gonna go down Oh my god, the way she lives. I don't even know what to say, bro. It's cool, but when it's you, it's cool when you're the owner, not because you're um right there under someone else's, you know? It's all about her. It's not you, bro. It's cool when you have your own penthouse. It's cool when you have your own mansion. It's cool when it's about you, but when it's not about you, don't get over too excited because... Everything's gonna fall down, bro. Jack that does everything for her. Designer bags like the candy. Imagine. Did you find out anything about her personal life? Is she happy? No. She has a daughter, um, Shelby. They don't have the best relationship. You see, that's already bad. That's she already terrible. Her, and she left her husband, too. That's already her. terrible, too. You see? She had a bad falling out with her husband. Well, I'm pretty sure it was because of her fault I doubt the husband did anything to be honest by the way how she's acting I don't blame him you're missing she a point Look, the thing about this situation, you're the boss, meaning you're responsible of your own things. And then you're with um, this guy, Gary. His name was Gary from the last episode. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're together. Yes, I know you, you have a apartment. Apartment is still something, but you're still your own boss. You don't have somebody pushing you around. But uh, I'd rather be alone rather than to be with a freaking woman like that. 
And that's facts, bro. What exactly is so bad about your life? Like, you just don't have money and that's it. Little homey place. You have someone you who see? loves you. Who cares if you don't have a Hermes or Chanel bag? You want to have you want to have money and be with a woman who acts like that? No. It's appreciating everything you have. Right. I'm going to pretend why? Oh, okay, she is brainwashed already. Here you are, a glass of Moet from the front. I wouldn't be surprised she gets I left in New York and it. has no way to come back. That's nasty. <laughs> Just because it's expensive doesn't mean it tastes good. <laughs> oh, and before we touch down, we have to change. I have to go straight to my speech. Afterwards, we'll check into the hotel. So, what are you giving a speech on? How AI is reshaping the legal industry, there'll be a lot of other lawyers there, yada yada yada. You don't seem too excited about it. No, I am. I'm just not too excited about sharing the stage. Barbara? With her? Judy! Mm -hmm. Who are you? A cute little beach getup. I'd be better if someone wasn't lollygagging in the first class restroom. One here, an economy. <laughs> You're not sitting here, are you? An economy? Oh. God, no. Oh. I wouldn't be blind if that were the case. I barely accrued to go when I found out I was stuck in business rather than first. You're the people that don't want to climb to I mean, I'll be happy going to New York for free. Oh, but of course, summer. some people want to go in a better you plane, which. I mean, uh, uh, whatever. And it has a lock on it too. It has a bike lock. Yeah, the fake laugh. Oh my god, that fake laugh. Yes. Mm, no, she's a friend. We go way back. Stop the cab, bro. Come I've on. I've known her since fifth grade. Well, you two seem like. Like, okay. like I said, guys, a dirty relationship, bro. But oh my gosh. Consider her First with your friend from fifth grade, your husband, so your There's daughter. No such thing as a pure friend or enemy. There's only friends. And the only thing that matters is money. You see? There you go. I can't wait to see the little surprise I prepare for her on stage. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what's gonna happen between them two. I feel like something's gonna end up falling down, though. Something's gonna go down. AI is changing the legal landscape. Why don't we start with Miss Fisher? Sure. AI presents unprecedented opportunities to enhance legal research and to streamline. Oh my god, guys, it shows that ag the ugly freaking attitude that's being like shown on stage. I don't know if people could notice that, but. That ugly friendship connection they have, it's just so.
I swear, guys, that movie is low key kind of overrated, bro. I, I haven't watched it. I don't plan on watching it, but like it is just everywhere, bro. I mean, oh. I mean, that's true. Yes. Can't deny that. That is simply not the truth. <laughs> Cap. There are two sides to every story. Yeah, you're right. There are two sides to every story. And now that we've heard yours, I think it's only fair that we hear George's as well. He's oh, here? George. Is that the husband? Who's that? Ladies and gentlemen. I stand before you to share the painful truth about I think that's the husband. The well, ex husband. Yeah, you see? My ex wife's relentless obsession with money is what tore us apart. Every aspect of our relationship was overshadowed by her. Like, always be humble for what you have, guys. If you guys get rich, end up being rich, always be humble. If not, I tried to tell her that. This True is exactly what happens, bro, when you're not humble. In love, in relationships, and not in the numbers on the bottom of a statement. But she didn't agree. Even after hey, she got you good, though. I ain't gonna cat. I mean, it's her fault, too, for even starting, so, you know, I don't blame her. But all you have to do is chill and, you know. So if any of you are thinking about doing business with her know that she's she a scam care about the people. she only cares about her own profits she's a scam hey that's embarrassing that though. was complete humiliation I don't ever even want to show my face again why well, gotta change up woman I'm so stressed about it People will forget about it and you know. No, they nah, won't. Nah, you gotta change up. That's what Not you gotta do. Community. See what Your happens? Reputation follows you wherever you go. Like, next time, be you honest, know, bro. Why is he so upset? Was the breakup that bad? Yeah, it was a stay at home. Shelby. And I was the breadwinner. And when we separated, I did everything in my power to make sure he didn't get a dime. Is that fair? No. Well, regardless, I mean, usually it should, should be the other way around, but he's still doing something and taking care of it. That's the reason it stinks. So I mean, bad. He has a better relationship with Everything with his daughter compared to you. Is true. George and I, when we first met in law school, everything was great. We didn't have much, but we had everything we needed. But after I started practicing and making money, you got too carried away. So I mean, there's nothing with working hard and making money, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. But you gotta control it. Don't feel bad. If you let the money control you, Honestly, then I don't know what to say. Love to have your life. You've got a beautiful downtown apartment, an army, and people at your beck and call. A bad collection that people would die for. I'm sure I would. Who cares about a pointless bag? Just a bag. Person. You used to mean everything to me. They were the symbol of wealth. And a lot of people also do that just to, like, like they said, show it off to compete with one another. But, I mean, that, that's on them. 
Nowadays, yeah, everything is just it done for Jesus. fame and stuff, you know? And just social media. Just like how my heart feels. Like, if you want a bag, get a bag, buy a bag, because if you need it, not because you want to freaking post it on on IG home, and show it off to I your friends. You and, and don't be crying when you're broke, like in a couple it's months. And this goes for like guys and girls. I'm not talking about girls too. I'm talking about guys when they buy like I don't know shoes or I mean all just stuff in in general. It's cool having stuff, but at the same time, don't be dumb about it. Well, maybe it's not too late. Shouting like texting you back on. I don't know if she came Happy back. Okay, his name is Ethan now, not Gary. Wait, I thought you weren't coming home till Sunday. Well, I wasn't, but I quit my job. It really wasn't a good fit for me anyway. I told you. Wait, I don't understand. You seem so excited. They were even paying you six figures. Nah, yeah, I was tapped. Let's just say I finally realized that I don't need an expensive house. She was gonna pay six figures. More like even, a, more like barely even a dollar an hour. Yeah. Yeah. You see, there you go, there you go. <laughs> no. As someone once told me, happiness isn't having everything you want. It's appreciating everything we have. And I got everything. Who's that? Hello? This is she. Yes, I'm still looking for employment opportunities. Well, it depends. How many hours will I have to work? Because if it's anything over 40 hours, then I can't take now, everybody needs breaks too, guys. When when you're looking for a job or when you work, I mean, you know, everyone needs breaks, but at the same time, don't overwork yourself. Okay, you see, that's a good start. That's a good start. That's what I love to see. Hello? No, it's okay. Just give them half of everything. Honestly, I don't care about the money anymore. I just want peace. Just be happy. I'm sure. I gotta go. One of guys that was broke girl lives to lives like a millionaire. She instantly regrets it. I wanna say she's broke. I mean she's like, I wanna say she's broke. I wanna say she's rich. So she's like in like in the middle, you know, like when you're broke, broke then. But I mean I guess because she doesn't have a job. I guess that's why they put broke. But I mean if they're still getting their bills paid then you know and the rent paid then. I wouldn't recommend, I, I wouldn't say broke or that down bad, but yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. It happens for everyone. Um, when we get opportunities or when we see stuff like that, everyone gets excited. Everyone gets wet. You know, we don't think. But when we freaking fall into a trap and then we realize that, oh, we were wrong, I messed up, it happens. That's when people learn. But that's why 
like I said, guys, it happens, bro. It's normal. Everyone gets way too excited for s similar situations like that. So, anyways, like at the end of the day, guys, it's always good to have a good relationship with your partner, your parents, your son, your daughter, your kids. It doesn't matter what it is. It's always have. It's always good to have a good relationship, connection, including with your friends from fifth grade. Cause look what happened, bro. She freaking exposed you, nasty, bro, from fifth grade. And I can't even get mad at her because that was her fault too, for saying in the plane that oh I got something waiting for her. But guess what? She had something waiting for you all along. And that's dirty, guys. That's dirty. So I always speak good friends with your friends that you have right now around you, even if you know them from first grade, elementary. Like always be good friends, bro, because. Stuff like this could happen and like I said, most of the time it's either your fault or because she caused it in this situation. But if they do it to you, and then yeah, that's just dirty. You got to find different friends. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Darman, you guys want to see some more? Let me know down in the chat, in the comments. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on the bell so you don't miss when I do go live or post another reaction video like this one. And by the way, guys, before I go... Um, new SML movie should be dropping this Monday, August 21 for Jeffy's um, 19th birthday. So it's going to be a good one, supposedly, guys. I hope you guys are ready. I don't want to say it because I'm pretty sure some of you probably know. Well, all of you know that Jeffy's birthday is on Monday, August 21. He's turning 19. But yeah, guys, expect to see a big... Um, SML movie video and hope we have a good reaction but other than that I'll catch you guys on the next one peace